delight and call for Biafra. Live for Biafra. Die for martyrs. Live for Biafra. Die for martyrs. As you see the truth in him, as you see the lie in him, and stand for their frown. As you see the truth in him, as you see the truth in him, and stand for their frown. As you see the truth in him, as you see the lie in him, I stand for Biafra. Thank you Thank very you. much. That is my voice for now. Thank you, my prime minister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Oga Karakerugo, Oga Neche Rugo, our prime minister is going to take the center stage now. I welcome the prime minister of the Biafra Republic of Manipesa. Thank you very much. Uh, vam, vam, vam. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Biafrans in the Nordic countries. I welcome all of you, the Biafra Republic Government in Exa Cabinet, de facto government in the homeland, ministers, and the other head of department. I welcome all of you this evening to this uh, historic tour again, the first ever regional tour of the as a Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Montenegro, And we start from the Nordic state. Uh, Biafrans, with your support, prayers, we have been able to uh, record a very tremendous achievement and success. And with the prayer that I have listened to today, if devil did not disappear, make I know say God no day. <laughs> Because this kind of prayer that uh, uh, our brother and pastor prayed here, uh, you will know that uh, pastors are uh, Some people think that they are pastor, but this particular prayer today will shatter the the devil's kingdom in Biafra movement. So uh, I welcome that prayer with uh, my whole heart. So my fellow Biafrans in the Nordic state. I want to first of all thank you for bringing out your time to be here to have given support to this government up to this point. Whenever the Nigeria state start crying, know that you are doing something and you are doing it very right. For the very first time in the history of the Biafra liberation, Biafra discussions and issues has never been talked about the way it is being discussed today, both with the enemy and those that are supporting Biafra. I want every one of you to understand that what you are doing now is your right. Freedom is the most important thing in any human life. And you must go out to fight for your freedom and regain your freedom and make sure you are not enslaved. Make sure you don't live a life and leave your children, your born children, your generation to come in the hand of slave masters. It is your responsibility as a man, as a woman, as leaders in your family, your different organizations, to fight for your people and free them from the enslavement and the shackles of Nigeria state. That's exactly what we are doing today, and that's why we are making progress. Since 1945, Biafra people have witnessed all manner of wanton killing, destruction of properties, ethnic cleansing, genocide, just in the name of maintaining one Nigeria. And today, the generation of which I'm very proud of, which you are part of, have risen up to say enough is enough. It is time we take it by, we take the bull by its horn and say enough is enough. And we must fight for our freedom, just like many countries in the Nordic countries today where we live have decided to fight their way many years ago and today there are country where the innovation development and all manner of civilization has come to stay we are not different from these countries we're not different from finland we're not different from sweden we're not different from estonia and many other countries 
around this Scandinavia region. So my people, whatever you are doing today by supporting the Biafra Republic government in exile is your right, your political right, your right to freedom of expression, freedom of association, and freedom and anything that has to do with your freedom. It is what you are exercising today under the Biafra Republic government in exile. For the very first time in Nigeria history, the entire foundation of Evo Nigeria has been uprooted. And today, from the presidency down to the local government chairman, they are all running Helter Skelter because Biafra has brought a new dimension that Mazinam Dikano talked about before he was kidnapped. Many people did not see that particular spirit coming. But today, everything, every prophecy, has come to pass. And the process and the road to the restoration of independence state of Biafra is right in front of us, is right here looking at us. And we must not be distracted. We must not be moved. We must not be, you know, we must step back an inch because of the, uh, you know, the steady bombardment in our land, because of the uh, blackmail, because of the propaganda from the Nigeria state. We must not step back an inch. We must not succumb to the pressure. We will not succumb to the attack coming from the Nigeria state. The more this attack comes, the more we are proving to be on the right path. Today, for the very first time in the history of Nigeria, they have declared Biafra agitators wanted. They are declared wanted alongside with terrorist groups, the terror groups that are arresting rehabilitating within six months they recruit them into the nigeria army and they focus more on the southeast part of biafra that shows that we are doing the right thing today for the very first time in the history of nigeria nigeria army printing flyers sharing it on the road going from one place to another sharing it on the road and one thing that is very laughable is they continue to call ipob they have refused to understand that Simon Ekpa is the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Mentinexa, because they know the implication of that. But we continue to tell them that we are no longer doing IPOB thing. What we are at now is government, and it is government to government. And I happen to be the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Mentinexa. We have the Biafra Liberation Army that was unveiled to defend the Biafra people, women and children against the bombardment against the ethnic cleansing and genocide that Nigeria government is bringing to our people. Yet, every day they talk about ESN camp. Every day they talk about uh, the uh, exchange of gunfire with ESN. ESN does not exist as far as this government is concerned. The people that brought the e issue of ESN after three years were the criminals of the Nigeria IPOB who after they failed to, to destroy Biafra, they are looking for something to hang on Mazinam the Kano. And today, the Nigeria government who sent them to start talking about ESN after three years, they refused to talk about Biafra Liberation Army because they have told them to go and start talking about Eastern Security Network again after three years. Why we have made it very clear that anything ESN has been dissolved and what we have in Biafra Liberation Army we are making the defense of the Biafra Liberation Army very open and public. Yet, this criminal and terrorist state continue to hang on Eastern Security Network. They continue to hang on IPOB. And many people that are following this IPOB Nigeria do not understand what they are doing, using them to try to, uh, you know, put those things hang on the neck of Mazen Amdekan. Because Mazen Amdekan was the founder of the Eastern Security Network. And as a government, we don't operate anything kind of security affairs as such. We are for, we have formed the Biafra Liberation Army. We formed Biafra Resistance Fighters. We formed Biafra Navy. And all this together combined become the Defense Force, Biafra Defense Force, which is in the public domain. So fellow Biafrans, today, they are still talking about Eastern Security Network. Ask yourself, why? And those people following the IPOB Nigeria continue to go on social media to try to correct the Nigeria army, the terrorist army, that, oh, 
This they have made it very clear several times that Tech Berima have nothing to do with IBOB. They don't understand that these criminals are using them. Because they cannot explain why is Army always talking about Eastern Security Network? And they are saying we have constantly tell them this guy has nothing to do with ESN, this guy is not an IPOB member, but they don't understand that that was what a job for. And those who are working with the Nigeria government ask the criminal leadership of IPOB Nigeria to do. Immediately, they sack a job for. I want everybody to pay attention. Immediately, a job for was sacked. I was one of the person that know about it from the beginning. And immediately, a job for was sacked. I announced it. They were still hiding it and hiding it and hiding it. And the Jopa appeared in the one of the court, and then the news was everywhere. But I knew that Tony Andrew had sacked the Jopa. So instead of them to, to show that they have actually lost everything, including losing Onyendu, do you know what they did? They started preaching that, oh, Onyendu is not supposed to go to court. But ask them, what was the Jopa doing before he was sacked? Was he not going to court? Was he not the same Jopa? That went to court without any document, without any indictment, without nothing about Onyendu. He doesn't even know the doc, he doesn't even know the indictment against Onyendu. He went to court, demanded for the uh, uh, for the indictment, they refused to give him indictment. But he went to court to defend Onyendu without Onyendu's consent. All these things was a cooked up planned deal to make sure they hang cases on Onyendu's head. And I want to remind the Empress today that remember that there was a case that the Binta Nyako adjoined. To further notice. That was a different case but entirely. Nobody is talking about it, but it is going to come later on. By the time they release Onyendu, they will still go back and say, Oh, there's another indictment, which is your four went to court and said that the, the case is done and dusted. How many of you remember that? There is a case pending, which is the the, the whole thing that your four and Nigeria government was doing in order to make sure that they hold Onyendu. A Joe Four went to the court and said that the Mazina Bikando have no case. The case is dust, done and dusted, but the pronouncement of the judge, according to Ejiofor, was that he don't have the jurisdiction to try this case. Okay, if you do not have the jurisdiction to try that case, why did you not scrap the case immediately in the court? And the case was adjoined indefinitely, which means after whatever that is going on now, if we just get through, Ejiofor has set a trap that they are going to take on Yendu again. I, have, I made this exposition immediately that case was adjoined indefinitely. But Bia France and those who follow them then don't understand what is going on. So now, immediately they see that the Jofo has been sacked. What did they do? The, the, the Jofo told them to go and gather people and start making videos about ESN. After three years, none of them talked about ESN for a complete three years. Military the sack of the Jofo came because what they were telling some of you then was that, oh, is this Samonepa that is paying the lawyer? Is it the Biafra government that is paying the lawyer? Who is sending the lawyer to the, and the military, they hear that the Biafra government are taking charge of the union case. Immediately, they start gathering boys to start picture and present them as Eastern Security Network. After three years, they didn't talk about Eastern Security Network. It was the same people that came to Radio Biafra to shout, hey, nothing like Eastern Security Network again. They don't have camp there. There is no camp there. Everything was destroyed, almost. Now, they make a video and tell you a Christian talk. And when Biafra Liberation Army fight these criminals, this terrorist army of Nigeria, instead of them to report it is Biafra Liberation Army, they say it is Eastern Security Network. Are you not seeing it? Now ask yourself, what was the intention and what is the intention of the Nigeria army in doing that? In the hand of a Jofo and the criminals in DOS is there. They hate Mazin Nam the Kano with impunity. But one thing is certain. We will force Nigeria to release him in a historic manner. I have said this several times. The release of Onyendo lies in our hand. The release of Mazinam Dikano lies in this government. I want you to understand that he is not the first person to have been in prison or have been incarcerated for fighting for freedom. If they have the opportunity to incarcerate me today, they will do it times four. Because according to them, I have done what Mazinam Dikano did not do. And let me tell you, this fight is a fight to finish. And I told them, I'm not going to fight like Mazinam Dekano. I'm not going to fight like Ojuku. I will fight like Samuel in 2024. That's exactly what we're doing. So anybody expecting me to fight like Mazinam Dekano is wasting his time. Anything expecting me, anybody expecting me to fight like Ojuku is wasting his time. We see how Ojuku and his fight ended. 
We see how they have done to what they have done to Mazin and the Kano, and they are expecting me to do the same thing. I am not a fool. We will fight Nigeria ruthlessly. The way the kind of brutality they brought our people, the same way we are going to defend our land and fight them. And that's what we are doing. If you come with AK 47, we will fight you with AK 47. If you come with GPMG, we will fight you with GPMG. If you come with aircraft, we don't have it yet, but believe me, we will make sure we use our aircraft against you. And that is exactly what the international law says. You cannot just fold your hand. All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where I'll bring you back to back updates and information as to the heart. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first to go collect them. Let's go down to the news proper as in the heart. You don't show it. Uh, the matter will be saying there for my table uh, and I'm waiting to the table for you. Uh, see the B for the matter for today. Imagine that they can don't criticize ruling head to appeal court. Uh, the legal team of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Imagine that they can led by barrister Aloy Ejimako has appealed the ruling of the federal high court, Abuja. In the court document filed before the appeal court, Kano Special Counsel Ejimako and other members of the legal team faulted the ruling of Justice Bintayako of Abuja Federal High Court of March 19, 2024. According to the notice of appeal filed by Ejimako with charge number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 383 slash 2015, the legal team said the High Court appealed that the lower court denied Kano's constitutional rights to a fair trial. The document read, take notice that the appellant, appellant bill dissatisfied the ruling of the Federal High Court Abuja Division. Kora BFM Nyako J delivered on the 19th March 2024, dot, hereby appealed to the Court of Appeal Abuja upon the ground set out in paragraph 3 below and will, at the hearing of the appeal, seek relief as set out in paragraph 4, hero, hereof from the court of appeal. And the appellant further states that the names of the addresses of persons directly affected by his appeal are as stated in paragraph 5 below. The land trial court erred in law when the court assumed jurisdiction to proceed with the hearing of the criminal trial against the appellant when the appellant is clearly denied the constitutional right to fair trial with particular reference to denial of adequate facility to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegation against the appellant and his right to counsel of his own choice, thereby occasioning a grave miscarriage of justice. The legal teams specify the particulars of the error as fair hearing slash trial bears the constitutional safeguard of ensuring that the appellant is accorded the adequate facilities to prepare for the defense of the criminal allegations leveled against the appellant. The denial of the appellant the opportunity to interact and brief his counsel on what line of defenses the appellant tends to agitate in the trial court and rely on was adequately brought to the attention of the trial court by motion. The trial court failed and neglected to make necessary orders that would protect the appellant's aforesaid rights, but rather held that the court cannot dictate how the respondent carries out its work. The trial court has the powers to order the respondent, being the determined authority, to cease and disease from interfering with appellant's constitutional transfer hearing right to adequate facilities to prepare defense and his right to counsel of his choice, and where it is impossible to do or where the respondent persists, the trial court. And hey, my people, all that English way they hear me say, <laughs> I don't read that English, read that, read that, read that, read that, read that. But I say if I continue to read this grammar to you, uh, it will be like, say, my grandma will come to speak here. But I see they be in conclusion, uh, they say, Mazen and the Canvas lawyer don't file another suit, uh, say, may they go defend the man. As he say, um, uh, it don't happen, no, as court, don't someone, five people will be say, you know, Messi Chin will be say, they sing song. 
uh, as Messi Ching will come put to bed, some social media handles uh, can come out, come they carry out, say uh, the child where Messi Ching will give birth to, uh, say that child resemble Nathaniel Bassi. And as it be, uh, the matter come they trend for social media, come they go round. They say that Nathaniel Bass now be the papa for uh, Messi Ching will pick him. Uh, but as it be, he caught down some of those five people where we say they carry out that art. Make a carry you go for the full detail of the information. Caught someone's five persons for the formation of Messi Chimo. The complainant say the alleged action of the defendants are contrary to section 391 of the panel code and section 24 bracket 1 bracket B of the Final Crimes Provision Prevention ETC Act 2015. <laughs> As it be, the chief magistrate court who says zone has summoned five social media users for criminal deformation of the reputation of God, gospel singer Messi Chingo and her husband Bless Uzo Chikwa. In the, in the court summons dated April 3rd, 2024, cited by Channels Television Chief Magistrate Emmanuel Inyanya, ordered the five defendants to appear in person before the court on April 23rd. 2023 to answer the charges leveled against the complainants. The complainants and the matter are blessed Uzo, Chikwa, and Messi Chimo. And Messi Chimo, while the five defendants are Okorunko AGK, Kinsley Ibe, DJ Sport Kid, Terence Eckhart, and Samuel Alozier. The suit stemmed from posts made by the defendant last week after the guest pro singer and her husband posted a picture of their son on Instagram. After the picture of the baby, who was born in 2023, was posted, defendants alleged that there was a resemblance between the baby and another gospel singer, Nathaniel Bassi, and claimed that he was the father, an allegation that went viral. In a criminal complaint filed by the complainant's lawyer led by Pelumi or Lajembeshi and Ab of Abuja, based law firm, Law Corridor. Messi Chimo and her husband say the alleged actions of defendants amounted to cyber criminals, injury, injurious falsehood, and cyber talking targeted at their persons. The complainants say the alleged actions of defendants are contrary to the section 391 of the Panel Code and section 24 bracket 1 bracket B of the Final Crimes Prohibition Prevention ETC <laughs> 2015. You know, Shelley, um, you know, say this social media thing, you be like, say some people they take them for granted. I beg, oh, I beg, oh, my hand, no deal. So, I see the be, uh, the people don't carry the matter, go court to, and I court the matter day now, as it they be, uh, you don't shell it for them. You don't shell it for them, as it they be. Meanwhile, as it be, uh, they say EFCC uh, don't arrest one woman, a big man, uh, what do they call Bobby Risky. Uh, according to Bobby Risky history, they say Bobby Risky is a man that time. Uh, but as it be, uh, they say Bobby Risky don't change now. And then um, people know to understand that. Meanwhile, uh, make I no go carry her, they put for that one because uh, the people they choose. Uh, how they want to live their life. My hand no deal. <laughs> hey, man, they say that the woman be the uh, mama of Lagos. They say controversy don't erupt to a 63 years old priest marries 12 years old girl in Ghana. While well, that one a child abuse, oh. may they catch and catch them. Uh, make you know be these people where we say that they do pedophile. Oh. Uh, you know, say some people are pedophile and eh? they call them uh, as they be. Uh, they, they carry small, small children. Them. They say Nigerian army says troops intercepted large quantity of illicit drugs in Ogun village. Uh, troops don't intercept a quantity of illicit drugs uh, for Ogun state as it they be. Uh, they say the Nigerian army has said that troops of the 35 artillery brigade intercepted a Mazda vehicle. With registration number NROK622SB, everything covering a large quantity of substance suspected to be cannabis sativa. <laughs> you don't shell it. Uh, those people will be saying they look at that business. You don't shell it for them. 
They say we celebrate Easter with email say we are all prisoners. And I pito be nine do that one. They say people be go inside the prison. Uh, where you follow prisoners, go celebrate Easter, go to tell them, say, all of them, all of them are all prisoners. Uh, that talk will, will be talk. Uh, me, I don't know what you mean, uh, but as you say that all of them are prisoners, well, people are in different prisons. Uh, some are in prison of conscience, some are in other kinds of prison, and the rest of them as they be. But we want to look at us be way it never be before. Now, here I go to wind down the curtain, and if this is your first time, of joining us kindly go ahead and subscribe like and comment thank you for listening god bless you